All right, what's going on? Let's look at finding the inverse of a quadratic function. I'll have several different examples on this, so uh, check them out. They'll all be different problems. of they'll, they'll be in different forms. The quadratic functions will, so check them out. All right, so we've got f of x is equal to x squared minus 2 for x less than or equal to 0. Now, before I get started, I want to talk just a little bit about this part right here, this condition. So if we look at the graph of this function, that's going to look something like this. It's, it's a parabola that opens up. Here's the vertex. All right. So if you look at this, you can see that if we draw a horizontal line through it, it intersects this graph in more than one spot. So that means it's not one to one. So that means this right here does not have an inverse, okay? Because it's not one to one. However, we've got this condition on here. So notice this says for x less than or equal to zero. So what that means is that we're restricting the domain on this function. We're only using x values from zero back to negative infinity. So we're not using this part of the graph. And you can see once we erase this part of the graph, it's now it it's now one to one. Horizontal line only intersects it in one spot. Okay. So this will be important at the end of the problem. And when I'll we'll look at it again. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So remember to find the inverse we're going to take the f of x and we're going to change it to y. So I get y equals x squared minus 2, and then we swap the x's and y's, so I've got x equals y squared minus 2, and then I just solve for y. So to solve for y, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, all right, so that is going to give me y squared is equal to x plus 2, and then we take the square root of both sides. So I get y equals the square root of x plus 2. Now, this is where students mess up all the time. Okay, We took the square root of both sides. We used the square root property. So don't forget to put, when you do the square root property, plus or minus the square root of x plus 2. So what this does is this gives us y is equal to the square root of x plus 2 or y is equal to negative square root of x plus 2. All right. Now, which one is it? Okay. So this is how you go about looking at it. So remember, this right here, this x less than or equal to 0, that is the domain of our function, okay? That's the do domain of our function. And what we're looking for is we're wanting to know what f inverse is. What does that equal? Well, what you have to remember is the domain of the function is the range of the inverse, Okay, so this domain, what does that mean that x is less than or equal to zero? That means our domain is everything from negative infinity up to zero. That's just taking this and writing it in interval notation. Okay, so if this is the domain of the original function, which one of these has a range negative infinity to zero. Well, we know that the square root, we're always going to get a positive number. Okay, when you take the square root, you're going to get answers from zero to infinity. Well, you can see this is going to give us answers zero to infinity. And then if you look at this one, this part right here that I have circled, that's going to give us answers from zero to infinity but I have a negative in front, so that's going to make it negative infinity to zero. So that means this one is not a solution 
And our solution would be this one over here, negative square root of x plus 2. And so there is your inverse. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.